The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. I've just had to move to Michigan recently, and I've been kind of keeping a low profile and keeping to myself. But slowly, I'm coming out my shell. It's this guy I'm kind of interested in, but he just seems like a player type. And with my luck with men, I bet he got a woman or he married or something. And I told myself that I was going to give love another shot. And I told myself, next time I see him, I'm going to just shoot my shot. Fuck it. It is what it is. What's the worst can happen? He could tell me no. Excuse me. Tacos tonight, huh? Yeah. One or two. You can give me two. Okay. You I wonder what else he want. Damn, I fucked up. I was supposed to be getting to the point. Come on, girl. It's time to get your future, man. I know for sure I can get this thing. Nah, I just got a little bit. Hey, you just helped me get my stuff in the other aisle. My name's Scarlett. Nice oh, to yeah. meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Mr. Rico. You a nice looking gentleman. I was wondering, would you be interested in going out for drinks? As much as I would like to, I can't. I'm in a relationship. Oh, that's cute. That's so sad to hear. Well, maybe if I bump into you next time. Definitely. You never know. What can happen? It's nice to meet you too, Scarlett. He trying to be faithful. Not even knowing that just make me want his ass even more. I'm gonna get that up. Nice to meet you as well. With the pleasure of meeting you out here today. I asked you to come out here today to discuss my brother's death. Something in my soul is telling me something isn't right. My brother would never commit suicide. I don't know if you know this or not, but that's not how this works. I need hard evidence, not just a hunch. But I know my brother, and I know he would never do nothing like that. Something is not right. I hate to break it to you like this, but from a detective's point of view, it seems like a clear case of suicide to me. Maybe you didn't know your brother as well as you thought you did. You should be ashamed to call yourself a detective. So that's it? Open and closed case, no investigation? Contrary to what you believe, an investigation was launched and everything points to suicide. Well, did you look into that woman, Scarlett, that he was dealing with? No, you wouldn't happen to know her last name, would you? No, I don't, but I'm pretty sure I can find out. He was so secretive. Well, I'll keep you updated, and if anything else pops up, just give me that last name, I'll run it through the database, and we can go from there. So you want me to do your job is what you're telling me. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'll be expecting your call. You have a good day, man. Hey, girl. Yeah, I just met with Detective Williams. Girl, he won't talk about nothing. These good-for-nothing crooked-ass cops, and they wonder why we got so many unsolved cases, but... I'm gonna get justice for my brother. Damn, why is you looking at me like that? Cause I'm just wondering why the fuck you so damn stupid, girl. Where is this coming from? Bitch, it's coming from the heart, ho. I see on Facebook that y'all back together. He didn't propose to you, ho. What's, what's going on? What's really going on? Rico. What up, though? What up, fam? Hey, what's going on? Good. Yeah. What's, up, what's, up? what's up, man? You be acting like we ain't homies no more. I mean, yes, he proposed, and what you mean, what's going on? Me and Rico, basically high school sweethearts. We built our whole life together from high school, and you just expect me to drop it? High school sweethearts, so what you telling me, the nigga that grew up now? We grown for he grew up? What's the problems at the crib where you can't holler at me? Uh, man, you know, I just be keeping that shit to myself, dog. you know? Private life, happy life, you feel me? It's understandable, and anyway, I'm loving though. Look, it's 
Oh, what you getting? What you? What you getting, man? Shit, that's some tequila, man. All these niggas got fucked up ways. You just gotta pick and choose what you're willing to deal with in the situation. Long as no bitch don't come knocking at my door, he can do whatever he wanna see. I don't trust a nigga as far as I can see him anyway. Hmm. Man, hey, look, I got these females. I know they booked their flight. I know they booked their flight, and I told them about you. Hold on, hold on. What you mean? You know I'm in a relationship, bro. What's up? Okay, so what they got to do with me? You don't even like her like that. You gotta live like me. The three F's. Find them, fuck them, and forget these hoes. That's what the fuck I do. These niggas ain't for nothing. They for everybody. And that's what you need to realize. Charlie, I do not need you bring your negative energy. I just need your support. You supposed to be my friend. Bitch, I am your motherfucking friend. That's why I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart. We friends, bitch. I'm rooting for you. Ain't nobody being negative, ho. If I can't tell you how it is, I don't want to be your friend. No, I can't be doing that, bro. Man, look, I'm already booked. They white. They coming. I told them about you. That's all you, man, bro. I told them you, man, you a photographer. You a director. I already told them about all that about you, man. You no, got it, bro. You telling them, bro. The flight booked, man. They coming tomorrow. Oh, that's all you, dog. No, and that's go. you, too. I'm going to get on you. Hey, you always trying to though. leave, man. Why you asking? We are talking about drinking today. I let Yeah, whatever. You never liked my man anyway. I ain't gonna say I never liked him. I just don't like how he treat my friend. Therefore, if I'm your friend, I don't want to see you get treated like that. What the fuck do you mean? Damn. You, you gonna let a nigga treat you like that? No. Yo. Jay. What up? Damn. What they looking like? What you want? What they want? When the last time you know me? To mess with some ugly females. Hey. Yeah. You already got their flight book. They for you, they for me. They coming tomorrow. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. You gotta get the lick though, man. You gotta got get you. the lick. I got man, what we do? Hey. That's what we do, right? Let me know what's going on. I got you. Bet it up. I got you. Bet it up. Hey. Just leave it alone because I'm about to get pissed off. Girl, don't I give a fuck about you getting pissed off? Plus, if that nigga willing to give up all of this, that bitch can have it. This motherfucker probably gave me some money with blood on it. Ones and tens. Motherfucker more crooked than I am. Yeah. <laughs> you trust them as far as you can see them, okay? Who the fuck you? I'm right. I'm not gonna get the fuck on out of here. I got shit to do, but um, go ahead and finish them the laundry up and get them clothes and shit, and I got to go. I'm sure I won't be here when you get back, but I see your ass in the streets, okay? Love you. That's just going to stuff. You need something about it? No, I'm good. Grab some drinks. <laughs> good ass day. <laughs> I'm the law around. I guess I'll play a couple games while I'm waiting. I need to call Rico out. Damn. That looked like that could be him. Shit, I think that is him. Shit together before I see this thing. I'm about to get his ass this time. Damn, you all right? Oh, Scarlet, what's up with you? Hey, how you doing, Rico? Yeah, I think I pulled something. I see you making your way around town. Yeah, I like this this track. I heard it was, you know, kind of nice out here. Nobody really be out here, so. Oh, okay, okay. I'll be coming out here to think sometimes. That's it, you know. That's what's up. Hmm. What you got going on for the day, though? Nothing much. What's up with you? Things ain't working out too good. So you changed your mind? I don't know. Maybe you what can help me change. What about your girlfriend? Cause I don't share my my men. Oh yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Continue our walk in, get to know each other a little bit more. That sound sounds good. good. Yeah. See, I told y'all I was gonna get this nigga. When I set my mind to something, it's only a matter of time before I get it. So, I enjoy my walk with you. With you, uh, what you about to get into? Shit, nothing. Go grab some meat for real. So far, I did. Wanna go? Of course, no seafood. I don't fuck with seafood. Oh, 
Okay, that sounds like a plan. I don't like seafood. Here and go to work. See what's going on. What's up, boss lady? What's up, Rico? Just the person I've been looking for. What's going on? You been all right? I've been all right. Okay, okay. So it's come to my attention that we've been having unauthorized visitors after hours. Would you happen to know anything about that? No, not at all. Why you asking me? You got other employees work here. So, man, what what are we at? Damn, sis, just give him a second. He's going to be here in a minute. Matter of fact, there you go, right there. Well, you already know. I like to smoke and choke, so let's get this together. But what if I was to tell you I have proof, and not only do I have proof, this person is not your soon-to-be wife. Now, hold up. What my personal life got to do with my work job? Absolutely nothing. But when you having flings in my business, it becomes my business. Right here. Damn, what you gonna do? Fire me, boss lady? And why would I do that? You're more useful here. I'ma need a favor though. What kind of favor you want? Don't worry. Not that kind of favor, nigga. What's up with your favor? You good? Yeah, man. My father took me so long. I got caught yeah, in traffic. It's no, cool. It don't usually be like that. It's cool. I know got you that got that good. 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 No, you got that good. You already know. But you know them hours I've been asking you to pick up for the last couple months. I'm gonna need you to handle that for me. And what if I say no? Well, you know, who knows? We're in a small city. Swear spread fast. I mean, you wouldn't want your happy relationship to be broken, right? I mean, I know what type of nigga you is. Just comply, and I assume you'll be here next week, right? Yeah, you got it, boss lady. I'm gonna be here. Hey. Good boy. So you say you got that fire. How much is your ace? Shit, them bitches usually 25, but I'll let you get it for the twump. Yeah, he giving you a good deal, I'm telling you. Well, shoot, sure. <laughs> since uh, I get the family deal, let me get three of them then. Okay, let me see what you're talking about mm -hmm. then. I'll be right back. I left, that, I left that shit in the ride, I gotta go get it. Right. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this that kill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like mm -hmm. this. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Hey. Told you. <laughs> I'm gonna see you next weekend. I got some things I gotta handle. Lock up the door when you leave. Okay, I got you. All right. See you next weekend. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Alright, y'all get with you, man. You good, man. Yeah, you too. Why the fuck is he even looking at the camera? Trying to move it around and shit. They everywhere. You cannot do that. This motherfucker. Don't know I'm looking right at his ass. Just don't fucking listen. Yeah, that was a good move right there, bro. I needed that. That little 320. Ah, I'm spending my little 60 dollars. Yeah. Now you already know. So who the flavor of the week? What you talking about? Now you know damn well what I'm talking about. You always know. <laughs> you sit up here dressed all night, nice, drowning yourself in cologne, and you think I'm stupid and don't know you got a flavor of the week. Oh, you must think I ain't shit. Why you always think that about me? You my sister, why would you do that? Now you know, <laughs> I know better. You and daddy is the same type of men that I'm always trying to avoid. So, you think, I don't know. <laughs> if I'm so much like daddy, why are you always in my space, breathing up all my air, trying to be around me? <laughs> because I'm smart. I know to sit up here and absorb all the little tricks that the new dog learned. You ain't got to put up with none of this shit. You want some bullshit. I really only came over here because you ain't been answering mama's calls and man's neither. So I just made sure ain't no girl took your ass out. <laughs> So you think I ain't shit, huh? <laughs> you just think I ain't shit? You think somebody will try to kill me? You think I ain't shit? What? <laughs> if I was your woman, I'd try to kill you. And I ain't no hiding no bushes type neither. you be off the market, bro. Yeah, you know what, on top of that, I don't even like your family anyway. I ain't going to that shit. What you mean? Oh, go. My go. family? Yeah, your family. Damn, my Man, family. Man, go with that. My family stuff. It's my family just like it's your family. But don't even worry about all that. I'm not the type to go sit up here and tell nobody no bad news. So I just tell her you was coming anyway. You can tell everybody I said hi. 
but I ain't coming. I'm not coming to that shit. I don't like them people. You know that. I don't even know why you playing with me like that. Well, you heard what I said. I'm a teller. You coming. So that means you coming. Get your plate, get your fork, and your knife. See you there. All right. Love you. No, I'm going to come get my plate. I'm coming to get my plate. I'm coming to get the plate. Oh, so you just gonna keep on walking, sis? You already know how it is. Once we do the handshake, conversation over with. We already agreed. You said you was coming for your plate. All right, I love you. See you later. I love you too. I'm finna go holler at Rico though. All right, tell All right. Rico I said hey. Man, you know how I tell him. Let me holler at you, man. man. I don't know you, fam. You know who the fuck I am. Come here and me holler at you. Don't make me get out of this car. Nigga, I don't know you. Hey, man, don't make me get the fuck out of this car, man. Get the fuck over here. Let me holler at you. Nigga, get out the car. What you talking about? You talking about get out the car. Get out the car. Man, put your hands on the car. Yeah, I know you got some shit on you. Man, put your hands on the car for real? Yeah, yeah. Put your right, hands God, on the car. You man. the police? I know you got some shit on Yeah, yeah motherfucker. I got you now. No, you got Man, I ain't got nothing, man. What's going on around here? Man? I ain't got nothing, man. Man, tell me everything you motherfucking know right now. I know you know some shit. I know you know what's going down around here. I know ain't nobody getting no money around this bitch unless you know about it. So why tell you, me something. I need 10% of everything that's going down around this motherfucker. 10%, man? Look, you want to go to jail or you want to go home? You, go you want to go to jail or you want to go home? You better know something, find out something if you don't know. I ain't no rap, bro. I ain't telling on nobody. But you, I won't, know my, won't nobody know you told me uh, nothing. Ain't man. nobody gonna know nothing because ain't nobody. Right. I ain't told on nobody, man. I give you your ten percent, but I ain't telling on nobody, bro. You gonna tell you me something? Your 10%. You gonna tell me something? You going to jail? Ah, uh, man, I'm giving you your ten percent. Come up with that money. Yeah, holler at me in two days. Now get the fuck out. Of here. Yeah, you get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Don't forget the name, motherfucker. Detective Williams. Two days, nigga. You got two days. Man, ain't nobody worried about you, Detective Williams. Dirty ass cop. Extorting niggas out here, nigga. I give you your 10%. Pussy. Two days, nigga. Yeah. Two days. All right. That's such a fucking long day. Hey, baby, how was your day? Imagine going from $24 an hour to $18 an hour. That don't even fit my lifestyle. Yeah, you right about that, baby. See, you know, you got an expensive lifestyle, but that's fucked up. Know what you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna be looking for more jobs, definitely. But as long as I know I got you as my backbone, we gonna be good, babe. Yeah, you right about that. I was just sitting here finishing up a few things from work. That's about it. But I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. I know I should. Fuck it. Scarlet. Hey, baby, when can I see you? This motherfucker is a lying, cheating. I hate to say this, but Charlie was fucking right. I should have left this dirty ass nigga alone. Glad I got that done. Hey, babe. You alright, baby? I don't know. You tell me. Who the fuck is Scarlet? What the fuck you talking about? That's real fucking fun. I knew you was gonna do some shit like this. This exactly why I screenshot it and sent it to my fucking phone, you lying ass bitch. First off, we ain't gonna do that bitch word. We gonna start that right here. Second of all, I don't know what the fuck you talking about at all. It's crazy y'all know what I'm talking about. 
Hey, Angel, baby, when can I see you? Damn. Hey, Scarlet, baby, when can I see you? You a lying ass bitch. Damn, put my head up and shit. What the fuck? The fuck is you on? We don't even do that. Time after time, it's the same shit, just a different bitch. You know, I'm getting sick and tired of your ass. Eventually, I'ma leave your ass, and you ain't gonna know what to do. You gonna be crying hurt. You ain't gonna be able to take what you dish out, pussy ass nigga. No, baby, look, we ain't even about to do all that. Look, I, I, I apologize. I apologize, baby. Listen, it was a party. I should have told you, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Things got carried on. But old girl, she really, she just wanted to get her taxes done, for real. I don't, I don't know nothing about nothing else. And you gave her your number instead of the tax office number? Yeah, because you know, I like to personalize things. That's it. Here you going with that line, manipulating that shit that you do. Shouldn't no bitch have your number, Rico. Especially not when it's a business office that they can call to get the information that they need. No, baby, you right about that. I shouldn't have gave her my number. But like I said, I like to personalize things. But look, we're going to have to finish this conversation at a later date. and a later time, it's too heated right now. Give you time to think. Me time to think. I love you, and I'll be back. Yeah, get the fuck out of my face. Oh, And don't run your line cheating ass back. Yeah, all right, then. Like I said, I'm going to call you on my break, man. Fuck you. I know. Rico, what's what up, baby? What's going on? Yeah, man, I just got extorted by Detective Williams. He just pulled up on me, put me on the car and everything, man, and told me to give him 10%. You talking about Detective Williams you went to school with? Yeah, man, you know, we was all cool, and all of a sudden he became a cop. Nah, he extorting people in the hood. Oh, shit, you know how that shit be in the hood, bro. That must be where them niggas be hanging out at right there. That's, that's, that's his ass right there. I got something for these motherfuckers. We're going to put a plate out. Don't never know how you been, fam. Like, what's going on with the wedding? Shit, man, I ain't even gonna lie. I think I made the wrong move asking her to marry me, bro. Man, I'm start getting cold feet now, nah, man. You knew what you was getting into when you asked her to marry you, fam. Man, I just thought it was gonna be a clean slate or something, my nigga. She just, man, she keep fucking with me with all old shit, bro. I know you. So look, when you get to rambling and bumbling around with these females, man, I know it's another woman involved, bro. You ain't just thinking about her. It's somebody else on your mind. How you figure that, bro? I know you. You my brother. I know you. Man, I don't know you got that logic from, man. But I don't know. I, I just met this female, man. She fine as hell. I don't know. That's probably what it is. Like, reason why I'm having second thoughts right now, bro. Man, why are you always trying to jump straight into some shit? You always do that, man. Stop doing that to me, man. For real. And that's why I don't be telling you shit, bro. The reason why you don't tell me shit because you know I be right. Yeah, sometimes you be right, bro. I'm gonna tell you one thing because you my brother, bro. Stop letting these females hold you back, man. You got too much of a good heart, for real. And what you mean by holding me back, bro? Because you always give your all to somebody. And you don't ever give your all to yourself. That's what I'm talking about. Stop putting them before you. Yeah, you right, bro, man. That good heart shit will get you fucked up, man. I definitely need to put myself first, though. For sure, for sure. Like I said, I think I met somebody, man. I'm gonna see how it go. I ain't gonna... Jump in head first. I'm gonna do my due diligence. See, that's what I'm talking about, fam. That's good, man. It's good you putting yourself first. It's about time for you to do that, man. What you about to get ready to do? Shit. I'm gonna slide in a minute. Shit, man. I gotta go to work, man. Leah got me doing extra hours and shit, bro. Shit. Fucked up. Don't worry about it. We finna get together this weekend. You know them games yeah, coming yeah, up. Yeah, you yeah, know how we doing see, the games. See, man. Yeah. Right, Put yourself with. first, man. Keep putting yourself first, man. I love you, my nigga. I right, love you too, bro. Yeah. And all the little freaky things you do Right above the stars below the moon When I'm with her, all I see is you oh, You, you You, you <laughs> yeah, That shit was fire last night, wasn't it? It was I always hey. enjoy being with you Me too I know that it ain't nigga Rico So when the next time we gonna see each other? Whenever you want to, baby so do you got plans for tomorrow night? 
I got some plans for tomorrow, but um, maybe we can do something on Sunday. Oh yeah, let me get my motherfucking phone out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get these motherfucking pictures. Sunday, cool. If something changed, just hit me up. Well, that sound good to me. Come here. Nigga hugging her and shit. Oh yeah. I got your ass zooming all the way the fuck in. I can't wait till this bitch leave him alone. Yeah. She ain't gonna say I ain't got no proof here. Yeah, I got your nigga hugging on other bitches out here. Alright, see you later. Charlie, you know that I hate your ass is always right. Girl, it's not that I'm always right. I'm just saying. I'm like, I see shit for what it is. But love will make you do some crazy shit, you know. But Charlie, I really thought I could change him. Girl, change him. Bitch, you can't change that nigga that don't want to be changed. These niggas out here for everybody. I guess you're right, but what am I supposed to do? Sometimes, bitch, you just act so dumb. What the fuck you mean you supposed to do? Leave his ass. Bitch, I'm so sick of you going through with this nigga. Like, let it go, Elsa. I know, it's easier said than done. I just love him so much. You hoes kill me always talking about you in love. Bitch, how about you come back to my house and chill with me for a couple days while I work, okay? You know I always got your back, bitch. <sighs> Thank you so much. Lord knows I need some time to myself and I don't want to see that nigga. I just need to pack a couple things and I'm going to be ready. Well, bitch, hurry up. Because I ain't trying to be here when that nigga come back. I don't want no drama, no nothing. Because I don't want to have to beat nobody ass. All right? Better yet, I'm going to just come back and get your ass. So you hurry up and get your shit together and I'm going to come back and get you, okay? Relax. He won't be home until later. He's working. I'm about to gather my stuff, and when you get back, I'm going to be ready. All right, bitch. So while you get yourself together, I'm going to go ahead and head out because I got shit to do, okay? All right, bitch. Be ready because I ain't got time for to be waiting on no bitch. Be in at the door waiting for bitch, you. Bitch, you ain't got to walk me out. Well, how long you going to be? Bitch, not that long. All right, bitch. Well, I guess I better go pack my bag. Oh, what a day. What's going on today? That's my dog. Yeah, that is my dog. Rico, what up, boy? What's up with it? What's happening? Good, man? Oh, yeah. What's up? Yeah. All right, man. You know what we need to do? What's up? We need to leak on with them females that we was messing with, man. Ever since we sat down to chill with them, man, they've been talking about you. They don't even talk about me. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna be to be your wingman no more, man. This shit been causing too much confusion at the crib. So what you trying to say, man? You trying to blame that on me? You trying to blame me for you being sloppy? Man, hell yeah, I'm blaming you, bro. Because I'm the only one that suffered the consequences. Nigga, you a grown-ass man. What the fuck that got to do with me? I ain't trying to hear that shit, man. Look, all I'm saying is that shit affecting the crib, and I'm trying to make this shit work for baby girl. See, man, that's that soft-ass shit I'm talking about, man. You act like you a saint. You ain't no saint. You think I forgot about that little fling with Scarlet, man? So I guess you're gonna blame me for that shit too, huh? Look, bro, as far as I'm concerned, all I'm gonna tell you is I'm trying to get the crib right, and if you ain't with me, you against me. So that's how you gonna play me? After all these years of me having your back? Nigga, you don't even know I got my own problems, bro. I'm getting distorted by a dirty-ass cop, nigga. You ain't even thinking about me. Look, fam, don't get mad at me about the life you chose, bro. Well, don't be mad at me for the women you chose in your life, man. I got my own problems, man. I'll holler at you, fam. Yeah, all right, bro. I'll holler at you. Good ass day they store the nigga. <laughs> and he was short on that last payment. I know you better have a little action. That last payment was short, my guy. What you mean short? Well, don't you comprend it? No mucho dinero. That bag was short. And because that bag was short, I'm gonna need extras on top of this. Extras? Extra for what? Nigga, you can't count? My calculation's always precise. Let's get to this money. Man, look, bro. We ain't finna do all this out here, man, in front of my neighbors, man. You police, man, motherfuckers gonna think I'm out here telling this shit, man. Come on, man. Charles, you choose this one. 
Why? I got my reasons, but you barking up the wrong tree, man. Let's keep this strictly a business transaction. Man, you weren't never that popular in school, man. You wasn't, man. You mad. You wanted to come to the parties and all that. You couldn't come. That's what made you want to be a pig, man. The fuck you think you talking to? I'm the law around this motherfucker. You better ask somebody. I don't think you understand the logistics of this relationship. I can hang your ass back in the cell before sundown. Believe that. Oh, I understand the logistics of the situation very well. But what I don't get, what is your angle, man? Like, man, you grew up with us. What you get out of fucking with people you grew up with? Huh. <laughs> you think you got shit figured out, huh? You must forgot. I'm a dirty cop. You just paid me in drug money. And you a fella. This ain't looking too good for you, little homie. You better figure something out. And he's back in your lane. That may be so. But it's something, man, with me and Rico. But we fuck one of your bitches or something back in the day, man. Keep it a hundred with me, man. We grown. The fuck you think you talking to like that? Like, I won't take this motherfucking nine <laughs> and blow your head clean off and make it look like an accident. Real tough with that gun, man. Nigga, fuck that. I'm raising prices by another 30%. Give me that money or I'm having the complex shut down, everybody arrested. I tried to be generous, but not as fuck y'all. Pay me. I'm not paying you no motherfucking 30%. The fuck you think this is, man? Nigga, if you don't like the way I do business, find another profession. Yeah, all right, motherfucker. Come on. Yeah, motherfucker. Glad you doing business, bitch. I ain't good about my shit. I know this probably over a bitch, nigga. I know it is. Me and Rico fuck one of your hoes. No, Marcus. Nah. But I ain't never liked you no way. Damn, this nigga Tane answering the phone, man. Heard from this nigga in a minute. What the fuck going on? Man? Hope this nigga alright. Get in the right spot. Bro, I ain't heard from this nigga in a minute. Yo, Tate! Yo! <laughs> so, what? No, I don't know. I probably can swing by a little later. Yeah, wait, hold on. Somebody on my other line. Hello? And this better be important. What's up? What? Stop playing with me. No! Stop playing with me. I can't believe you don't play games. No. Is that the phone? Here, Ma. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't see the tape in. I don't know what happened. Nobody got no fits. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. So that was a good show. What you feel? Yeah, it was. You don't look like you had fun. I thought we enjoyed ourselves. I mean, I had fun. Yeah, I just been fucked up since my boy Tay got shot and shit, man. I don't know. Shit, a lot of shit, it, it just don't seem right. Like, it's a lot of unanswered shit going on. Damn, baby. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm quite sure everything will work out. I know you'll figure it out. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that. I'm definitely gonna get to the bottom of this because, you know, that was my man's. But I parked over here. So you wanna go this way? Dang, you parked over there? I thought we had a good time. You ready to go already? No, we necessarily, we ain't gotta leave right now if you don't want to. We can just do some things around here if that's cool with you. That's good. Well, let's go. 
Oh yeah, we can cut over here if you want to. Chill spot I like to come to just to think clear my mind. I like this. It's nice. Sit right there. So I am glad that we did get to go out and you kind of told me what was going on with you because when we met, we hit it off so good and then you just kind of ghosted me and got dissed and I was just trying to figure out what it was. But then when you told me about your boy, I understand why you haven't been yourself lately. I get it now. Yeah, it just, like we did hit it off, you know what I mean? It just, ever since, you know, from the time that we met, it's just been a lot of things that's been going on and, you know, that was my bro. And it's just my mind is all wrapped up right now. I'm trying to figure things out, but it's nothing against you. Nothing personal, anything like that. Well, it's good to know that we got good communication and you got everything off your chest. But it still seems like it's something on your mind. So do you want to talk about it? Yeah, so on top of the Tay thing, you know, at work, my boss, she been blackmailing me. Wait, how's she blackmailing you? Do you remember when I brought you to the job? Yeah, you talking about when we first met. Yeah, long story short. She got some cameras set up and she seen when I brought you to the job. Damn, babe, that sound like a bitch who like you. You sure? Y'all ain't got more going on than that? Yeah, whatever it is, it's some bullshit. You know, I don't care if she like me, don't like me. Well, whatever the fuck it is, the shit sounds suspicious as fuck. And then on top of that, you know, at home ain't really been cool like that either, man. She been on bullshit, been accusing me, argument after argument. I don't really know how much longer I can take, to be honest. Yeah, you done got yourself into some shit. And it's always a way out. You just gotta keep your eyes open. This is just pretty much life. It would be easier if the bitch would just die. Girl, you're so crazy. But this is not a movie and it shit don't work like that. Well, if I was you, I won't worry too much about it. Because if she wanted to out you, she would have been did it. It just seemed like she just really liked you. It seemed like that woman hate my guts for real. Well, you can just never be too sure about that. Yeah, I get that. But I gotta head back and take care of a few things. Well, okay, baby. I really enjoyed our time. And you could just give me a call when you get back and you figure out if we gonna go out next week. Okay. All right. See you later. Okay. I'm gonna hit you up and let you know something a little later. All right. Phenomenal tax solutions. How may I help you today, girl? Hey, I'm new in the area and I'm looking for a good tax preparer. My last one fucked me over. Well, I can assure you that we are the best around right now, so I take care of you. Well, I was looking for a spot that do hookups. You know what I mean by the hookup? Well, I run a professional business here. The hookups, I don't do. It's a waste of time. Oh, it's like that? Yeah, it's just like that. I hate when people come in here looking for hookups and paying the bare minimum. It's just not even worth my time. Well, you ain't even got to be like that, Miss Lady. That's not even the real reason I came up here to talk to you. I really came up here to have a conversation with you about Rico. Wait, my employee Rico? Hold on, I knew you looked familiar. You was the bitch on the camera after business hours. I think you need to watch your mouth with that bitch word. I consider myself a lady. So you call yourself checking me? You can call it what you want to call it, but I'm gonna need you to ease up on Rico a little bit and find somebody else to work that weekend. So you just gonna come in here and tell me how to run my business? <laughs> wow. No, nah, but I'm gonna tell you stop blackmailing Rico. And if I don't, like, are you threatening me or something? No, but I highly recommend you take my words into consideration. You have a good day, love. That went just like I planned. I don't know what type of time she was on, but she got me fucked up. Now let me call Rico. Yeah, dog better have that 
gas too. So, so. What you doing here? Rico, why the fuck you ain't been answering the phone? You know why the fuck I ain't been answering. You went up to my motherfucking job and shit. What the fuck did you want? What you mean? I thought that's what you wanted me to do. Yeah, but I told you I was gonna handle that shit myself. You doing too much. Listen, nigga, you ain't gotta talk to me like that. I thought I was helping your ass. Look, I'ma tell you like this. She called my motherfucking fiance, we gonna have some motherfucking problems. <laughs> what kind of problems, Rico? Nigga, I know you not threatening me. Look, you can take it how the fuck you wanna take it. As a matter of fact, you could lose my number. But Rico, wait, it wasn't like that. Rico! Rico! Rico, baby! Fuck you want? Me, yeah, I'll let you. Man, what the fuck you want? Man. Hey! What's going on, man? Sorry about your loss. I know you and your boy Tay was pretty close. Yeah, man, that was my Dawson Sandbox, man. Shit fucked up. I just want to let you know we're going to do everything in our power to figure out who the fuck did this. You hear me? I appreciate that, man. The whole situation fucked up for real. That we both can agree on. I hope this goes easy as planned. What the hell are you doing here? Relax, Miss Lady. I'm just here to make peace with you. But there's another problem at hand. A name named Scarlet ring a bell to you? Yeah, I know, I know, I know it's Scarlet, but uh, what they got to do with anything, man? Honestly, she's a person of interest. And right now, none of her contacts are leading up. Nobody can get a hold of her. But I know you know a little bit more than what you portray. See, a little birdie told me that. And my birdies never lie. Don't you think it's too late for that? I don't take threats kindly. Honestly, look. I know we got off to the wrong foot, but I really care about Rico. In fact, I think I love him. And if I'm quite sure if it was you, you would do the same thing. Hey man, so what if we was fucking? What they got to do with anything? And what she was being investigated for, by the way? About a year back, she was dating a nigga named Chris, and he died under suspicious circumstances. And it was labeled a suicide. But after a second look, nigga, it looked like something a little bit different. The difference between me and you, I will never play second in nobody relationship. Listen, lady, I didn't come here to let you scold me. I came here to make peace with you. You can keep your peace and shove it up your funky ass. Matter of fact, get the fuck out. Listen, I told you once before, watch how you talk to me. We got reason to believe foul play was involved. Well, what you want from me, man? <laughs> Thought you never ask, nigga. I know you want to keep that little scarlet little thing a little secret from your fiance, right? I don't know what you talking about, but scarlet, that's just my home girl. And don't you try to bring my fiance into this shit, dog. Did Rico put you up to this shit? I should have known he had something going on. But it's cool, though. I'm about to call this fucking fiance since y'all want to play on my time. So that's really how you want to play it? You ain't got to do all of that. I'll leave. No problem. Yep, and that's exactly how I want to play it. Now get the fuck up out of here. You, know you got a wife at home, but you out here playing the field. And then want to get all tender dick when a real nigga get at her, huh? You better stay the fuck away from me and stay the fuck away from my fiance. Or you gonna do what, nigga? Say what's on your mind. I send your ass to me, take. Man, get that bullshit up out my face, dog. Man, what the fuck you want? A little respect go a long way. My trigger finger itching, nigga. I said, open it up. You can go. Yeah, you know what? I'm fucking up. Now I need you to do something for me. I need you to call that little bitch, have her meet you somewhere, and I'll take care of the rest. And if I say no? It ain't looking too good for you, Rico. Your homeboy just turned up dead. You been mingling with a suspected murderer. And, um, uh, shh. I don't think it was a coincidence you found that dead body. Man, you know damn well I ain't had shit to do with that. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But quite frankly, it don't even matter. All these deaths happening in my city, somebody got to take the rap for it. It's making me looking like I ain't doing my job, and I can't have that. I told her to watch how she talks to me.
Oh well, I'm just gonna get my nails done. I suggest you set that play up for me and let me know where it's gonna be. I'm gonna give you my number. Keep in contact. Man, fuck you. You foul as fuck. And tell your fine ass fiance I said hi. Fucking pig. <laughs> okay. Got his ass right where I'm I just want to apologize to you, you know what I'm saying? A lot was going on that day. And uh, I just wanted to make peace with you, baby. That's it. I'm not falling you for not reaching out. I understand you got a lot on your plate. We all human. It happens. Are you busy right now? Not really. I'm just out handling a few things. What's up? Damn, but shit, when you gonna make some time for me? As soon as I get done doing what I'm doing, I'll just text you my location. Bet. I'm gonna meet you there. All right. Thank you for meeting me on such a short notice. It sounded like it was urgent over the phone, so I stopped what I was doing to come see what's up. It just been a lot going on, and then in the midst of stuff, in the back of my mind, you know, I just wanted to talk to you about a few things. That's it. Well, what's on your mind, Rico? I told you I was here for you whenever you wanted to talk. Well, for starters, tell me about your old life. Tell me what made you want to start a new one. I just felt like I needed a change. Out with the old and in with the new. Come on, Charlotte. Don't bullshit me. I know about Chris. <laughs> and what exactly do you think you know about Chris? Well, for starters, I know they reopened a murder case and you the prime suspect. Chris was selfish and abusive, and I try to work it out with him. I try my best, but everybody has their boiling point. So you did kill Chris then? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just defending myself. But how can I trust you, Scarlett? Was you planning on killing me too? What? Rico, now you talking real crazy. Everything I did was for us, and I thought you would see that by now. We could have been so perfect together, but it seems like you just won't let go of the past. But Scarlett, you barely even know me. Rico, I know enough. I know you're a good man, and I think I love you. Well, look, Scarlett, I may not be as good as a man as you think I am. Good job, Rico. And who the fuck is you? Take a while, guys. Wait, Rico, you set me the fuck up? Turn around and put your hands behind your back, Scarlett. You just like all the other niggas I fucked with. I thought you would have been different. Baby, I'm sorry, but I had to do what I had to do. Fuck you, Rico. I really thought you fucking loved me. Oh, that's so sweet. Miss me with that soap opera shit. I speed this shit up. I got shit to do. Whatever else you got to discuss with him, you can put it in the letter. Man, Rico, you. good job. Now go home and kiss that beautiful fiance for me. I done told you stop mentioning my motherfucking fiance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't try to get all righteous now, nigga. You done turned on your side piece. You a cold nigga, Rico. Man, you a cold you. nigga. Hey, Scarlett, you a hard woman to catch up with, baby. Fuck you, cop. <laughs> and those swoops on flick, baby. <laughs> you know it's a bunch of evidence stacked up against you. How many years you think you faced? Just a natural born comedian, ain't you? Yeah, well, you know I'd be trying. Well, I suggest you work on your routine and your police work. Right? What the fuck you mean? I caught you, didn't I? True, but you didn't check me. What? I can't believe this hoe ass nigga Rico set me up. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill this nigga. You don't even understand. Rico, I don't know what the fuck you got going on. Every time I call you, it's going to the voicemail. Oh, so this the bitch this nigga in love with. I'm about to roll up on her ass right now because he got the right one. And I went up to your job and it's not even open with your lying ass. You need to call me back.
Hello, how can I help you? Hi, is your name Tamia? Yes, this is her. Nice to finally meet you. My name's Scarlett. I know you gotta be fucking kidding me. Not the Scarlett that's texting my man. Yes, I'm not one. I'm sorry to come to you like this, but I want to come to you woman to woman. There's a couple of things I think we should talk about. It's kind of cold out here. Do you mind if I come in? Well, usually under normal circumstances, I would say no. But I feel I need to hear what you got to say. Thank you. No problem. So what is it that you need to talk to me about? Well, there's two things I came to tell you. One being, I've been dealing with Rico on and off for the past few months. And I'm starting to develop deep feelings for him. Wait, you mean to tell me this been going on for a couple of months? Six months to be exact. Six months? Wait, I know the second thing you're about to tell me is not that you're pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. Thank God that's not the case. Well, bitch, at this point you really starting to irritate me coming knocking on my fucking door about a nigga. You said you had two things to tell me, right? What's the fucking other thing you got to tell me or else you can get the fuck out of my house? I don't understand why they keep using this bitch word. Well, obviously, since it seems like I'm wasting your time and you want me to speed things up, be careful who you love. Love will get you killed. I keep telling these bitches stop fucking disrespecting me. Oh, this bitch is Who is it? What the fuck? Oh yeah, I don't know what type of shit y'all got going on. Where is Tamia? She's in the back getting ready. Girl, excuse me. Let me on by. She in here. Excuse me. I'm here. Excuse me. You don't have to be rude. I know what you doing here. I saw you hugged up with that nigga Rico. Wait, what the fuck going on? Back to the crib. Oh, shit. Scarlet. Hey, Rico, did you miss me? I know you didn't think you can get rid of me that easy. What the fuck you doing in my house, Scarlet? And where the fuck is my fiance at? Well, you don't have to worry about her anymore. What you mean I ain't got to worry about her no more? And I swear to God, Scarlett, if you did something to my fiance, sit the fuck down. All right, all right, you got it, you got it. I just want to know what's going on with my fiance. I really thought we had something special. I never would have thought you would have sold me out to the fucking police. Look, Scarlett, I was in a fucked up situation. I ain't mean to hurt you like that, but I had to. Well, Rico, it's a little bit too late for that hurt shit. And I already told you from the beginning, if I can't have you, nobody can. Well, that didn't go the way I thought it was. And I know what you're thinking. This bitch crazy. But that's where you're wrong. I'm just fed up with lies and the backstabbing from these no good ass men who throw around the love word and don't even know the fucking true meaning of it. Maybe I'm old school. Maybe I'm crazy. But I know one thing. Don't fuck with my feelings.